Welcome to New Sound Hearing and Tinnitus Center. I'm Belinda Allen, and this is New Sound Hearing and Tinnitus Center. I've been in the hearing industry for about 15 years, and about 2010 started having a desire to go out on my own. I saw uh, things that I believed could be done just a little bit better and uh, really wanted to sort of set the standard in the hearing care world. At New Sound Hearing and Tinnitus Center, we uh, focus on hearing care, uh, which starts with hearing protection. A lot of people hear our name and the first thing they think is hearing aids, and we do help with hearing aids, but we want to catch people before there's even a problem. Uh, so we do all sorts of custom hearing protection for our hunters, for our musicians, for people that are just working around the house and all sorts of workplaces. We do OSHA testing for employers. Uh, within the state of Kansas and um, we provide hearing evaluations for um, most ages, um, most young, young, young ones we do refer out because that takes a special knack. But, uh, and so uh, we do the hearing test. Uh, we have a doctor of audiology on staff and so we can uh, provide assistance in diagnosing hearing disorders and working with tinnitus and things like that. So hearing aids, hearing protection and just overall ear care. So even cleaning out the ears if you have a little problem with that. Tinnitus or tinnitus, either way is correct, is when you hear a sound in your ears or head that no one else is hearing. It can be there constantly or it can come and go, be intermittent, but it's usually a symptom or a warning sign that something else is going on. A lot of times it is connected with hearing some type of damage. Maybe you uh, shot a gun and you started hearing some ringing or noises in your ears. Usually those types of things are temporary and they go away, but when they stick around we want to make sure that you've seen your primary care physician that your blood pressures and blood sugars and things like that are, are okay but then when we know that it's there to stay that's when Dr. Brine steps in and we try to get some relief to some people when we find that someone uh, could benefit from a hearing device the first thing we do is sit with them and the their family because this is a very emotional and financial decision um, but we want to visit with them a little bit about their work um, about their lifestyle and um, because there's different sizes there's different styles and it's not just about the price but it's about what's going to work best in their world and so we'll talk a little bit about that and once we've sort of made the choice of what style or sizing then we look at the different uh, levels of pricing and it help them uh, understand what you're getting in each one of those levels and then help narrow down those choices so it's easier for them to decide what's best for them at that point we will take a mold of their ears gives those uh, technicians at the manufacturer a good idea of what's going to fit best for their ear. We will get the order placed and once it's here that's when the real work begins. We'll spend about 45 minutes that first visit when they get fit and they will uh, be shown how to care for the device, how to put it in, take it out. And most people think they're going to walk out of here and hear the best they've heard in years. They will hear much better but typically what we do is set that target fairly low. Just enough that they're hearing some changes but that it's not overwhelming, giving their brain some time to sort of get used to that. We see our patients two or three times just in the first 30 days and then from there we see them at least once a quarter making sure we're retesting them annually. I tell everybody uh, the most important thing to decide is who do you want to work with because you're sort of stuck with us once you make that decision. Yeah.